No team means more to a city than the Packers to Green Bay. And this was the scene a few moments ago as the green and gold made their way out of the historic tunnel. They're ready to go as they get set to match up with Russell Wilson and the Seattle Seahawks. This is the Oklahoma State alum, Chris Carson, calling officially a loss of two on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. That one good for 14 and a Seahawk first. On first down, Wilson. And the catch is made here by Tyler Lockett. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. First down, Seattle on a pickup of 13. From midfield now, here's Wilson. That's complete to DK Metcalf. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. The end result, 21 yards. Vanderbilt's own Oren Burks had the tackle defensively. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I do just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. The tally there, minus two yards, brings up third down. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Preston Smith comes in for the sack. Well, that play was the very definition of fast, quick, and in a hurry. Suddenly, he was there. Yeah, blink of an eye. That happened fast and a big sack. Fourth down. Here's Wilson. That's complete to Disley, the tight end. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Not often to fourth down conversions result in 23 yards, but that's the case here. First down, and that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. Now on second and 16, Wilson. Well, we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading the play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. From the gun on third down, Wilson. The quick slant caught. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. The gain of five that time gives him the conversion and makes it first and goal. Let's go. From the gun, it's Wilson. He'll buy some time right. And he's going to go down just outside of the five, right around the six-yard line. No score after one on EA Sports. Line of scrimmage, again the four-yard line. Second and goal. To throw is Wilson. It's caught, lock it. That time the completion goes for four yards, and we're set up with a third and goal. On third and goal, Wilson flush to his right. And this is going to be intercepted. Snags it for the pick, and not much on the return there. He'll take it only up to the nine-yard line. Well, Charles, after that interception in the Super Bowl from the one-yard line, I thought Pete Carroll would run it inside the five every time. Sometimes I wonder if maybe Pete did want to run it inside the five. But Russell Wilson, you know he's such a competitor that he doesn't want that interception to stand that maybe he wanted to be in that spot to hold it a second. I can throw a touchdown pass. Instead, he's victimized again. Throwing again on second down. Rodgers, he gets this to Devontae Adams. He's at the 40, the 20, 10, touchdown. 
Devontae Adams, 84 yards, as his guys are first onto the scoreboard here this afternoon. Well, the game had been pretty uneventful offensively until that big strike. No doubt about it. It almost felt like they were just going back and forth a little bit in the first quarter. But in the second quarter, things ramped up a little bit. Things jumped up. And you're exactly right. Going to make a highlight film or two. We'll be watching that one later on today. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And of course, they'd like to forget the ending, the interception. But the pressure comes, and Wilson's going to go down. Zadarius Smith came in there hard on the blitz and got him down nine yards behind the line of scrimmage. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. On the move to his left. In trouble here, and down he goes. Back at the eight-yard line. Preston Smith able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. After the sack, they'll come up now third and long. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see them roll the ball here just to try and get some space. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. It was Darnell Savage that time who was able to knock it away. Well, the fans should be applauded in this defense right now. It's an excellent job. They force a three and out, and they should be able to set up their guys in great field position, probably near midfield or better. And he goes down. It's a sack. They get him back in his own three-yard line. Zadarius Smith. And, boy, that means this next drive is going to start at the three-yard line. So quite a turn of events. This is first and goal from the three. You got You got this call down near the goal line, and that would cover beautifully. Their defenders stayed home, and they'll stop him behind the line. The loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. A first carry now for the BYU man. It's Jamal Williams. And that'll get him halfway there as he takes it from the six to the three-yard line. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, seven-nothing ball game. They'll run it with Williams. And he'll go backwards, losing yardage to the five. That'll back him up two yards and also bring up fourth. The short field shrinks even more with the type of bodies they brought in on that play. Those extra tight ends, they weren't able to secure their blocks, and that one ended up going backwards. And the 12-year veteran knocks it right through, and the lead moves to 10 zip. The bottom line, tremendous starting field position really squandered there as they wind up going backwards and then come up with just three. Well, getting the three turned out to be important. I can imagine the head coach when he ordered the field goal, please salvage something out of this drive. That was not fun to watch. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And on that last drive, Whitford on fourth turned it over. A good job by their defense, though. They held them to three, but this offense, they've got to be a little bit better, a little bit more careful here. And sometimes when you see these calls on fourth down when they decide to go for it, it's not necessarily the coach saying, I believe in my offense. Sometimes the coach saying, I believe in my defense. I can afford to go for it here because if we don't get it, Tyler Lockett, 20, and all the way in, touchdown Seattle. Tyler Lockett, 68 yards, as they are now on the board here in the first half. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. Throws left side, and yeah, he's got it. They convert for two, and that gets him even closer. Now a two-point game. This one's going to be covered up by the Packers' hands team. A second quarter onside kick there that failed. Is that something that maybe they had dialed up before this game started? It feels like it, doesn't it? That they thought they had the right situation, you know, and, and the right approach in going after it. Also, it may signal that they feel like they have the superior team. That they could. Well, he's mm -hmm. free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he will get this into the end zone. Touchdown, Green Bay. Devontae Adams, two catches, two touchdowns here so far. 
And the Packers are able to stretch that lead out further. Crosby connects on the extra point, and the lead is now 17 to 8. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And you have to figure they won't just sit on the football here in the final minute. The way things have gone, they need to try to make something happen offensively. But maybe they should. Maybe they should sit on it here because of what you just said. They haven't made anything happen offensively. Getting ready to go into the half, give them a chance to take a deep breath, exhale a little bit, and start over. I don't know if this is the time to push it myself. Yeah, right now under 100 yards of total offense. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. From the shotgun, Wilson. He'll get the first down and more inside the 20. And finally taken down at the 15. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. So it's the Packers set to receive the kick. They've got the lead as well as we are underway in the third quarter. A very interesting call and one that backfires. I know they're losing Charles, but boy, to start the second half with the onside kick, risky. Felt like a sense of urgency from their side. Coupled with you and I both know the special teams coordinators. He's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Unable to stop KJ right there as he slips by for the sack. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. Out to his left. And that will be incomplete. Try to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. And Charles got to like what this defense has been able to do these last couple of plays. Yeah, they get the sack on first down, then they force the incomplete pass. Now they're just a play away from getting the football right back. Oh, trying to get that to Adams, but that's intercepted. Trey Flowers picks it, and he'll return this ball across midfield to the 47-yard line. First possession of the third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second-half tone setter. Indeed, and not the tone they wanted to set. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real dud for that. Has that happened to you before? No, but I've heard stories about teams actually doing that back in the good old days. They stay on the ground again. It's Carson, and they're going to get him behind the line yet again as his nightmare afternoon continues. It'll wind up being a loss of two, and it'll be third down. Here's Wilson operating from the gun. It's complete to lock it. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. A good pick up there, a 22. On first and 10, it's Wilson. Now they go screen, it's complete. He's got the first down inside the 10. And he will score. Touchdown, Seattle. A 24-yard touchdown. As they have now chopped this lead down to three. There are several elements to a well-executed screen pass. This one resulted in a touchdown. It had all of those elements. Hey, you're so right because you really need the rush to almost get to the quarterback, almost get to the passer. Then you've got to get the ball thrown perfectly, whether it's to the running back, the wide receiver, whoever the screen guy is. And, of course, the blocking has to form in front to get him downfield for the touchdown. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. And following the interception, just any interception. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Jadavian Clowney showing the explosiveness on the sack. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. Shaquille Griffin knocking it away that time in coverage. 
When I watched that play, I thought about what my coaches had told me in the past, the biggest teaching point. Get your head around. Locate the football so you can make a play on it while it's in the air. That's exactly what he did there. That was nice. Escaping the pressure right. Thrown across his body, and it's intercepted. Shaquille Griffin with a pick. And he'll bring this one back to the 29. Well, I get what he was trying to do. He was moving to his right and trying to shift the coverage, but instead he shifted the coverage also to the right and threw it right into it for an interception. After the interception, here's Wilson. He'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. That'll pick up the first down for Seattle on a gain of 18. They'll throw on down with Wilson. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Now he's got it. Caught in the end zone for the Seahawk touchdown. Making a hat trick for Russell Wilson. Three touchdown passes now. And the Seahawks have taken the lead. Wilson will throw again, and that is caught for the two points. And the formula there on the two-point try, they go five wide, not even the option to hand the ball off. They got it. They tried to create space, and there isn't a whole lot of it there. For the defense, what you're trying to do is make sure that someone, if they're going to catch the ball, make them catch it behind you because they run out of space with the back line. But in this case, the offense figured it out. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And, and Rodgers intercepted a third time. Picked up by the linebacker, Bobby Wagner. You hear me laughing, partner, and I'm not laughing at the situation. But sometimes you just get yourself into a rut. It's hard to shake yourself out of it. So here's a first and ten at the 38. Wilson being chased out left. He's going to take a shot right away for the end zone. Oh, incomplete. A turnover would have really helped there. Almost intercepted. Instead, it's just second down. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. There's Wilson to throw. And a quick throw here. That's complete. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. short it's pro size and he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage they'll be marked inches short no gain on the play and that's going to lead him to fourth down they'll pass up a field goal attempt it would have been a 45 yarder now they'll go for it on four now Wilson and that going to be incomplete. Pete Carroll rolled the dice, but it didn't work out. And the Packers' D comes up with a big stop. Rodgers will break the huddle and bring the pack up first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. So that's back-to-back -back drives where they've thrown an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got them frustrated right now. Good starting field position here for the Seahawks as they come up first and 10. Just shy of mid. Pressure comes, and Wilson's going to go down. Give the sack to Blake Martinez. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. Check now at Lambeau. It's the Seahawks with the possession. They also have the lead here as we get set for the fourth and final quarter. Throwing on second and long. Wilson. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. That one good for 17 as they're set up better now for third down. Wilson now to throw on third down. He's got Lockett. He finds some open field here. And he is in for the Seattle touchdown. Russell Wilson now with four touchdown passes on the afternoon. And the fumble recovery leads to six points for the Seahawks. Here's 
Marcus Wilson, and he's got it. So the two-point conversion is good, and they add on to their fourth quarter lead. And this one's going to be covered up by the Packers' hands team. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we've brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team is caught inside the 20. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Give him 30 yards there. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and 10. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. Brandon, at least there's one bright side to that incompletion. What's that? It wasn't an interception. Wow. <laughs> you're, you're a nice guy. That was kind of... And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, Packers. From 17 yards out, as his guys are back within a single score. It's been quite the game for him individually. A trio of touchdown catches now. So pick a route, any route, whatever you want him to run, he's going to do it and do it well and end up in the end zone. This has really been fun to watch. Extra point up and good by Crosby. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. Right now clinging to a one-score lead, Charles, and I think operating within that four-minute offense with a little less than four minutes to go applies here, right? It certainly does, and that means the playbook is still wide open. But you are a little bit more careful about what you're calling. You want plays that are going to gain yardage, how would you say, it, consistently. Right? You don't need the big shots downfield. But make sure the clock continues to run. Pile up the first down. And the goal, end the game with your quarterback kneeling down at the end. And you still have the lead. Dancing to his left. This one into the hands of Metcalf. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. The Seahawks moving pretty well through the air. Another first down. Now Wilson, he's going to look deep for more. And that'll wind up incomplete. Try to give his man room to run under it, but it's second down. Finally, a good play there defensively on the deep ball. The secondary has had its struggles this entire game. Offensively, they've had their way with them. To throw on second and ten. Wilson. The goal of anyone running a curl route is to make sure you try and get defenders on your back and shield them away from the football. But sometimes even when you run a good route, the defense finds a way to knock it away. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. And the blitz does come. And he will not be able to hang on to the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. You can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, what did you see? Yeah, I think you've got to let them play, and the officials are instructed. If there's contact coming from both sides, no flag. Let them fight it out. And forces fourth down. Pete Carroll rolled the dice, but it didn't work out. And the Packers' D comes up with a big stop. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off by Brad McDougal. And they will take over possession of the football at their 42-yard line. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. Now Wilson on first down. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Preston Smith able to disrupt yet another pass play. That is his third sack of the afternoon. And now defensively they're going to burn their first time out. Remember, they get an extra time built in coming up here shortly at the two-minute warning. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked up by Blake Martinez. And he's able to get it back to the 41-yard line. 
Yeah. Now after the fumble recovery, it's Rodgers. He's going to let it fly. And that is incomplete. Showed off the arm strength there, but to no avail. Second down. So it's Packer football here as we welcome you back. They come up on a second down now in a game that looks like... And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Rodgers now, after the sack, he'll lead the pack up on third and long. He'll look to throw. Steps away. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that'll be incomplete. Well, they took their shot all right, but it comes up empty. And it's fourth down. So down six, and they know they need this one on fourth down. They'll go for it. It's Rodgers on the move to his left. And no, it's incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And this defense will take over right near midfield at the 49-yard line. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. They'll lock it with a grab over the middle. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just over a minute to go in the game. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Now it's Carson. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. Another yard would probably put this thing in the books in second and one. There's Wilson. That's complete to Disley, the tight end. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. Now the Packers going to burn their third and final timeout as they get it with 26 seconds to go in the football game. Now it's Wilson. second half that put this one on ice. So you get the sense that whatever was said at halftime obviously hit home. I think it's a little bit more than that, though. Obviously, there are words that are said, and hey, come on, guys, we have to play better. But sometimes it's just sharpening your execution, sharpening your focus, and maybe doing the things you practiced all week without major adjustments, just doing them better. And that got it done in this one. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gunn. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say so long, everyone, from Lambeau. Mm -mm. Mm -mm.